Hey guys, it's Jen with JCT Rustic Homestead and we have a really busy day today but I'm about about 10 minutes to accomplish something and since the mice have already found our seed potatoes I figured I better get them in the ground. It's also getting towards the latter end of April so we want to get them in the ground. Um, gar uh, Colton tilled up the garden last night as he was driving off into the sunset he said I'm on a tilling mission and I think he tilled up half the neighborhood's gardens. But um, potatoes, there's my seed potatoes. I cut them last night so they could cure for a little bit. Um, you're supposed to plant them like one every foot and then your rows like every three feet. Oh, and here's Raisin. All right, oh, gee, thanks Raisin, thanks. Nope, she likes to eat things, but I think I'm gonna stick her in the house while I have her. Raisin got Melby all riled up, but Melby just hits the deck when Raisin goes nuts because she's scared of her. But now Melby's all going nuts. Okay, we got potatoes to plant. And hopefully from the Raisin invasion, they're not too bad. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, they'll be okay. Um, okay, so as I was saying, plant a seed potato. <laughs> Sorry, Melby is still going a little crazy over there. Bobby, come here, bring your sick. She's like, what on earth? Anyway, okay, seed potato. One every 12 inches, rows every three feet. Based on last year, here comes my dog. Oh my goodness, Melby, get the stick. Yeah, get the big stick. Get the big stick. Get the big stick. Arr. Yeah, and sometimes you just gotta spend a Sunday morning playing with your dog. Arr. Arr. Yeah. Get that stick. Do something with that stick. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start planting because this is insane. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 gold rush potatoes. And um, I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna mark everything out. Right now I want things square with the world, but down the road I probably won't care. So I'm just gonna go one, two, and this bed's about 12 feet, so technically we could get 12, and then I might put the spares in a separate row. I'm trying to balance here, but who knows. Whoop! I'm about to fall over, because I'm filming while walking. It's like chewing gum and walking. And my row probably isn't straight at all. It ain't too bad. That gives me an idea. As well as spacing, because my big feet are about um, a little over 12 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 11 ish. 11 of my big feet. So, I got my little spade. I think I'm just going to go right here six to eight inches down and I know that tiller went down pr plenty far because I'm anal I'm gonna make sure that that is pointing up already even though it probably doesn't really matter because these are the shoots for the stem and then the ends will start forming blossoms and then the roots will come out down here somewhere I have a potato that already has some roots growing I got a little over eager in the store one day when I saw potatoes and I was wanting to get the garden going and so they've been on the back porch for a while or maybe the kitchen table I can't really remember so that's one potato down and some of this grass stuff that's still around I might get rid of this in a compost pile or something just to help reduce the amount of weeds or I might leave it I haven't quite decided yet so there's one I'm gonna leave my thing there. I'm going to keep going down the rows as fast as I can. I can't do that with a camera so um, Melby is sulking over by the truck. I don't know if you can see her. She's right there-ish. My truck's parked on the other side of the garage. So I'm going to keep planning while she sulks and hopefully we'll get some stuff done before we need to leave for our next thing. Okay, we got most of the garden sort of planted. Um, we have four rows.
rows of potatoes. There's about 11, 11 starts in the first three rows, and then the last row there might be like 13 or 15 because I doubled up because I had some extra and I was not going to start another row. Um, but we put Colton put those tile flags in there so we knew where the rows were until they started going. You can get them from your farm store or whatever. Um, they come in different colors, so if you're like pink or purple you can probably get them too i'll look around on amazon see if i can find something um and link it and that for our amazon affiliate links if you guys want to look at that route um so we have three four rows of potatoes we'll see how much that actually produces and then we have three ish rows i doubled a row here with and my gardener seeds and then finished off with some leftover seeds. The other two rows were seed left over from a year or two ago. Um, we've had problems, one with them germinating and two, the moles just like all they do is they find a row and they go down it and they eat the sweet corn. So Colton's on the war path. Um, we planted their mounds. I've never done them this way, but Colton just started building a mound and I said, okay. So I put four seeds in a mound. I probably won't have the heart to kill them once they start sprouting, if they start sprouting. And I am kind of worried about them being too dry. But our zucchini last year, it was a zucchini forest. It was huge. I had no idea zucchini grew that big. So we'll just see if they... See, there's another one there and another one about there. Um, we'll just see what they do. I have to pull the seed packets. Um, I thought I had enough beans, but I don't because this is this from this flag to this flag is only about not even three feet, and that was like all my beans. That was 25 seeds, 20 actually, it ended up only being about 20 seeds. There were probably 25 to 30 seeds of the black valentine this is the blue lake so i'm gonna just go to the local store i wish i could just i don't i don't i can't justify shipping in seeds from my gardener at this point um so i'm gonna get some more seeds just at the local store and get them planted that blue lake goes a little further but not much um oh my poor okay these were peas these were my pea seeds and that's all the further it went was another like three feet or so and I, I didn't have all of them because um, I tried to winter sow some and they haven't taken. But this is my poor broccoli in my winter sowing jugs. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to wa I'll water them, but we're supposed to get rain tonight, and I didn't want to like completely saturate them. But at this point, I may have killed them. I'm not sure. Here's a, here's a bigger one. So that might make it. But I planted like all of them. And I probably didn't plant them far enough apart, but I figured for all the ones that are going to die, I might as well plant them all. And then I can dig them up or move them or something accordingly. So that's our poor broccoli. I'm probably going to come back and water it. And then these two rows, which are running perpendicular to everything else, is Indian corn. Um, we're going to try to grow some Indian corn and see what happens. Maybe sell it for decorations and stuff. Later, I'm guessing we're going to put our sorghum, like, next to it here. I'm not quite sure. But we also need room for peppers and tomatoes. And I have some onion starts I need to get transplanted up, if nothing else. I should probably work on that soon. But today is just... I don't have the time for it today, and I'm exhausted from this weekend. So, um, there's our Indian corn, our broccoli, which I'm going to water beans, beans, zucchini I'm almost standing on, corn, and potatoes. So that's what we got so far. And um, I'm really getting excited because the uh, tulips are starting to come out. They haven't completely budded yet, but we have tulips. I'm pretty excited. Um, and that is a uh, fritillaria or something. Frit it's 
weird. It's in the lily family, kind of. And it you can barely see the buds at the top. The, they'll flower out in like a red flower, I think. And then I believe this, that is a giant allium. I can't remember for sure, but I think it's a giant allium. I'll know more once it flowers out. And I cleaned out all these weeds next to this walnut tree. And um, I knew the peonies were there, but they just, they like ruptured, ruptured after I cleaned them out. They seriously grew like six, eight inches after I cleaned up all the old leaves and some, pulled some of the grass and stuff out. We also have a lilac bush that's budding out. Um, we have two lilac bushes, but I think only one of them is budding out. And spring is finally here. We'll see how much more snow we get for being mid to late April. But um, that's it for today. We're supposed to get some rain tonight, so hopefully tomorrow I'll plant, I'll have some time to plant sorghum and something else. There was something else I can't remember. Sorghum. Sorghum and I don't remember what it was. But anyway, sorghum is a smaller seed anyway. They're like super tiny. So I figured with it being so loose of soil, if it gets a good drench, then we'll plant them. And then um, they'll have good moisture to start out with instead of like whisking, washing all the seeds away. So anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. Um, in case I don't get video tomorrow, check out the blog jctrustichomestead.com or Facebook. We're also on Facebook, Etsy, and hope you're all having a good day. Good spring. Happy Easter.